Hi guys, this is Emily and... Hey, this is Noah. How's it going guys? Today we wanted to come together and make a video about how we met. So we're pretty excited about this one because it's been a long time coming for it. Yeah, we definitely have a unique testimony as to how we met. Not necessarily very traditional, so we just wanted to create this video to encourage you guys who might still be looking for a partner and give maybe a different perspective than what you've heard before. So yeah, we can jump right into it if you're yeah. ready, Emily. So the way that we met, guys, drum roll, <laughs> is through deliverance. I guess that's not that shocking considering that I do deliverance, right? But it's an interesting uh, testimony yeah. to tell unbelievers. Yeah. I guess a lot of times we just say like prayer or deliverance prayer and they might not know what that means, but yeah, we met through deliverance prayer. So yeah, I don't know if you want to give the backstory. We had a friend who was on a YouTube yeah, channel. Yeah, so I, I don't know how long I was in the faith for at that point, but I was looking for deliverance and I was connected with someone that said they know someone that does deliverance and so you guys just pretty much set up a time on Skype which is funny because it was like 12 in the morning in Ontario, Canada. Oh yeah. <laughs> I didn't even take into consideration different time zones or anything yeah. yet at that point. Well, yeah. we it was uh, three of us and you and the other person were in different time zones, so... <laughs> I just have to mention this one point, guys, since we're already talking about the deliverance. Emily thought, like, I was, like, this expert at deliverance at this point. Like, I was, like, uh, deeply involved in it. But she was, like, the second person that I ever prayed deliverance for online. So I didn't know what I was doing hardly at all. <laughs> I think part of it is because I watched some of your YouTube videos and... There was a, he was talking about a lot of spiritual things that I actually didn't hear anyone talk about yet. And like he, literally the videos that you had were on like, there was one about dream, like, you know, spiritual attacks in your dreams. And that's what I was going through at that time. So I was like, man, he's like speaking about everything that I'm going through right now. Right. So it kind of just boosted my... Right just image of who you were so but maybe we can talk more about the deliverance but yeah. just to get some backstory first i guess what is essential god brought both of us to a certain place of sanctification in our christian walks before we ended up meeting each other like we both came to the place where previously we were looking for relationships or in a relationship and we both came to the place first foundationally where we're like okay, God, in your timing, whenever whenever it is your will for me to have a relationship and just kind of not gave up on the desire, but just let it go and didn't really worry about it anymore. Both of us about like maybe six months before we met or before we started dating came to that place. And that was so essential because otherwise the enemy could keep using that desire and that wrong timing in a wrong way to to lead us astray so praise God that we came to that place first that's so important to come to that place where you just give it over to God and you're not all impatient and frantic and you know if you want to find a spouse God knows that you want to find a spouse you don't have to constantly be all frantic and worried about it but anyways yeah I mean God brought us to that place of sanctification first and I praise God that he did because I see so many people that are not at that point, whether people are struggling with sexual sin still, or they just still have impure motives or impatience with regards to relationships, it's definitely not a good place to be, right? So I don't know if there's anything you want to say about that, though, Emily. Yeah. Um, God definitely had his hand upon my life even before I was truly born again. Like... Um, there was many people thrown in my path that I think the enemy was trying to trip me up and get me with the wrong person. Um, and then I've talked about this in other videos, but like even in terms of being born again and meeting other people, like 
the enemy can send you people that are actually born again too and sh again try to put you into the wrong relationship um so yeah like noah was saying like god took us through some things and brought us to the place where we just needed to be surrendered to him and just leave it in his hands and that's exactly what happened we met with no expectation yeah. of a relationship like sometimes when we say that we met online like people's first response is that we met on a dating app yeah but no we met through skype and he was doing he was praying deliverance for me and uh, nothing happened really. I mean, I'm not talking about deliverance per se, but nothing happened between us. Like we didn't think anything of it. There wasn't any desire or anything. It was just like, this person's doing deliverance for me. Yeah, and that's such a great place to be at where you are just naturally serving God and the opportunity just comes across your path as opposed to you impatiently trying to make it happen because then you know that God set it up and uh, God even confirmed that to us but yeah God really just kind of made the opportunity happen and we didn't have that preconceived notion or this expectation of like oh I didn't have this preconceived notion of like oh I'm gonna pray for somebody and I'm gonna find somebody while I'm praying for them or something like that just no expectation really and as Emily said we didn't like necessarily connect relationally in that regard right away we just continued to keep talking and it happened naturally that we ended up started dating each other eventually um, I, saw should, I, was, yeah, go ahead. I was just gonna say should we just jump into that right now yeah I suppose so so God brought us different confirmations I guess I'll just go ahead and jump into that Emily and I continued to keep talking and then we noticed that we had an interest for each other and there was one particular night where I was going to ask Emily to date me which you know people don't like that term you could use courtship you know we know dating isn't necessarily biblical but there is a time where you need to date somebody in some sense before you marry them like get, get to know them not in like a intimate way in any way but anyways my point is um that there was one night where I was like Lord do you want me to date Emily and I was just in front of my computer screen actually as I was praying that and I just had my hands folded like this right and I was just praying like this and after I got done praying I just like cracked a little bit in one of my fingers like in between two fingers and the first word I saw on the computer screen was the word yes um, so obviously that in that of itself could be confirmation bias I suppose but the very same night Emily was actually seeking God about it as well too so yeah um, I'm just gonna backtrack and it's I joked with Noah about this but like so I would talk to Noah here and there because um, I you know, after speaking with him and just watching his YouTube channel a little bit, I knew that he has wisdom on spiritual things, spiritual warfare, and I'm going through stuff right now, so I'm going to reach out to him. Um, so we had talked a bit, um, but I honestly think, like, once I got baptized, like, I think that God, like, really amplified right. the, the desire within you, both of us. You always joke about it like I had a confirmed interest <laughs> after you got baptized. Which I was like, you started talking to me differently after I got baptized. <laughs> but it's interesting because even for me, doctrinally speaking, I don't treat baptism as the end all be all like some people more so might, right? Yeah. So I just think looking back on it, that was just more so God. Yeah. Like furthering yeah. the connection after you did get baptized. Yeah. So. But, yeah, he was just more excited to, to fellowship with me, and we just started getting into really good fellowship, and we started realizing that we have a lot of the same beliefs, and it's like a desire started to come up within me, 
And then I was getting really scared because I had, you know, just recent, it was pretty recent, I feel like, where I finally came to that place where I, you know, surrendered any sort of relationship and getting married to God. And then when the desire started to rise up, I started to think, okay, like, <laughs> is this from the enemy or, you know, what do I do? And I was just like super cautious about it because I knew I had made so many mistakes in the past and I had um, just not listened to God as well as I should have. And so I just made the decision to just like, just pray to God and continue to pray to him. And there was this one night that I was just like crying so much, just praying to God about the situation. And you know, whether that like, <laughs> there's something going on and like, if there's not like, let it be removed. And um, when I, I was driving when this is happening and when I got home, is actually when Noah messaged me to, to talk to me and then he just he just told me he he didn't want to play games he didn't want to lead me on he just said I feel that God is calling me to pursue you and like that was just <laughs> just miraculous because I was praying so hard to God to like show me and then Noah calls me up and, and says that and on top of that there were already like little confirmations and yeah there were other confirmations as well too but that was definitely the big yeah. one yeah and another big confirmation too is like when we would pray together like I don't know if you remember this but like we would just feel God's presence so much like yeah. it was so strong and yeah. so we knew, knew that the relationship was pleasing to him and that we we pretty much knew i would say that we're gonna get married <laughs> it was just a matter when when you asked but yeah one thing that i want to say as well too is i praise god that it was confirming to both of us because we've seen or heard of situations where like oh, one person will get confirmation or one person will get prophecies that, oh, especially when it's the woman saying she's getting all these prophecies about marrying a man. But yeah. I just really like that about our situation, that it was confirmation to both of us, that God spoke to both of us individually. Yeah. Um, that can just be a dangerous sign. Like if there's one person and it's a special, but yeah, if either way. If there's just one person that's getting all these confirmations and the other person's just like, all right, I'll go ahead. Yeah. That's not a good way to go about it, right? But yeah. praise God that he confirmed it to us both. And as we're talking about that as well, too, I'm not saying, like, you have to have, like, 30 confirmations, like a dream, a prophecy, everything, you know, in order for it to work out. You don't have to, like, be superstitiously looking for a... X amount of confirmations in order for you to know, but then again, God will confirm it to you. And God can confirm it just through something like what you said about when we prayed together, we really felt God's presence. Yeah. I didn't necessarily hear a voice saying, Noah, this is confirmation that you're, you know, supposed to marry Emily. But yeah. I mean, things just kind of line up like that, right? Yeah. Too. That's one way that you can look at it, right? Yeah. Like you don't have to be very complex about it. It can be yeah. pretty straightforward, right? Yeah. I think that just the way we connect. I mean, yeah, we don't necessarily believe in dating. Um, I mean, even at the time I was saying we're courting. Yeah. <laughs> but, Which, um, yeah. I mean, honestly, I think like when God, as soon as God like confirms it to you and you get in the relationship, it's kind of like, in the back of my head, I was just like, okay, this is who God wants me to be with. So yeah, we're probably going to get married. But with saying that, it's like you actually really need to know 100% that it is God. Like God did confirm yeah. to you both about being in the relationship and that um, he desires you to be married. 
And something that I want to just say to address women is what I did was I just like, I did kind of just leave it up to Noah to be the one to bring it up and reach out about it. Um, I didn't play games. I didn't hint anything. I was just myself. We just fellowship together. Mm -hmm. We had a good time fellowshipping. We didn't flirt. Like, honestly, I don't remember us flirting at all. Like, we just had a really good connection in fellowshipping. Yeah. Um, and it was really straightforward. It maybe, was... maybe more messaging than the average fellowship. Yeah, I mean, obviously there was more frequent communication, yeah. but... Um, but I hear what you're saying, like, yeah, there could even be confirmation bias with that as well, too, if there's too much flirting involved, that's a good point, right? Like, your emotions could just get stimulated and you think, oh, this is confirmation. Here's a good confirmation, though. Are they not living in willful sin and they're genuinely born again? Because, like, I think some people think, oh, I have this confirmation, that confirmation, but the person that they're dating isn't even walking in righteousness. Yeah. I don't know if those are really confirmations if the person's not walking in righteousness, yeah. right? I would cut that off if it was me, if the person was living in willful sin. Yeah. Um, Definitely. I know we've said stuff like that before, but we just gotta say it again that like <laughs> don't risk it if they're living in sin, right? Like I don't know. Yeah, Some people that, that was just a given for me. Like I think we immediately like knew that we had the same, you know, doctrine. We we did. Like <laughs> Yeah. That's another confirmation. Yeah. We believed like ninety nine percent the same thing, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Honestly. And even just as we've continued yeah. in our marriage, we continue to be very aligned. So yeah, guys, we're just living proof that if you just give it over to God, you know, God is the one who will make it work out. As I said earlier, God knows that you want to get married if you want to get married. And the best thing to do is just surrender it to Him, the timing, the desire, and then just serve Him and allow him to open the opportunity. Obviously, there needs to be some initiative to some degree. You can't just isolate yourself in your house. I mean, I guess God could work that out sometimes, but yeah, guys, we just want to, you don't have to go on so-called Christian dating apps or Tinder, all this stuff that's going on nowadays. You don't have to feel pressure to go about it in any specific way really other than God's way and submitting to Him. So just trust Him with regards to... And many times when you give the desire over to Him and you just surrender it to Him, that's what He's waiting for. Right. To see that you're trustworthy to enter into a relationship, right? Yeah. I'm not saying guarantee like immediately you're going to find somebody right away, but I'm just saying like that's so key in having it work out. Yeah, I think before I got to that place of being surrendered that I kind of had a mindset of, well, I need to do this thing, or I need to message this person, or I need to go there, or I might miss an opportunity. And honestly, God's he's going to make it happen if, it, if that's his will. And if you desire um, his will to be done in your life, like it will align the way that it needs to be just keep walking in righteousness keep walking in the faith and trust that god will put the person um that you're to be with in your life amen amen well guys that's pretty much what we have for the testimony so we hope that you guys enjoyed it uh if you want to see us continue to make more videos together like this let us know your thoughts down in the comment section. Yeah. Okay, guys, be blessed in Jesus' name. Be blessed.